First thing first, we need to find assets. Uh, for that, you can check on uh, Sketchfab, CG Trader, or some website like that. Or I personally prefer QuickServes. Do you know why? <laughs> because they have a vast library of high quality 3D models, textures, and materials. It's not a sponsored video and it's absolutely free. And these assets I downloaded from QuickServes, so make sure to check it out. Now that we got our awesome assets, let's keep things organized in here i just downloaded different variants of flower a small grass and a tall grass so that's it now let's keep them into a collection to do that select our assets and click m and new collection then name your assets whatever you want in here i'm naming them as grass tall grass and flowers make sure to disable them after you finish your naming process In the same scene, import a plane. Then navigate to particle settings. Over there, you will be able to see a plus icon. Click that. Then in the type, change emitter to hair. If you scroll a little down, you will be able to see an option called render. In there, change the path into collection. Later that, navigate the grass collection. Then drag and drop into the coordinates. Now you can clearly see something is on our plane. Yeah. That's our grass, but they are too small. To scale them, navigate to the render option. There will be an option called scale. In here, you can clearly see our grass has a specific pattern. To break those pattern, below the scale option, there will be another option called scale randomness. If you tweak those values, you can clearly see our pattern is breaking. You may ask, what exactly happening? Nothing much. Actually, this option gives random values for our scale. If you increase the number over here, you can increase the density. To break the pattern even more, you can go down and you can check this pick random option. What this option is doing, it will pick random object from your collection. This option will help you to get even more randomness to your scattering. Now let's give randomness to our rotation. If you check the option over there, you can't find it because we have to enable the advanced mode to do that go up there you can see an advanced option if you check that you will get an option called rotation and check that rotation also then over there you will get the options to give randomness to our rotation you can tweak the settings then you will get even more randomness now let's add rest of our plants to do that first of all change the particle system name into grass then click on this option in here duplicate particle system this is really important after duplicating our particle system click on this icon to separate our each particle system if you don't do that if you change any of the settings in one particle system it's going to affect in the other particle system also we don't want that to happen again let's change the name into flowers by selecting our flower particle system scroll down in the render option remove the previous grass collection and drag and drop our new flower collection to the instance now you should be able to see the flowers on your viewport let's reduce the density and the scale let's duplicate our particle system once again just like we did before and separate them and rename them as tall grass then scroll down and in the render option replace our previous collection with our new tall grass collection you can increase the density by increasing the number. You can randomize the density by using seed option. But wait, there is more. For those of you like to get little more control over your scattering, we got weight pain. Weight pain allows us to control where our objects are scattered with precision. First of all, we need to hide our particle system. Then, select our plane. On the left top corner, change the mode from object mode to weight paint. If you try to paint something, you can see nothing is happening because we don't have enough vertices on our plane. To fix that, jump to edit mode. Then, by selecting our all vertices, subdivide several times. Now, let's go back to weight paint mode. Now, you will be able to draw anything on your plane. 
So in here, I'm just drawing something like this. After that, if you go to the object data properties, you will be able to see a new vertex group as created by Blender. Then rename the vertex group into scatter. Now let's bring back our object. Then scroll down, open the vertex group option and add our scatter to the density as well as length. Now you can see our weight paint is affecting our particle system. Now let's do this with our other particle system. Now you can see our weight paint is affecting all of our particle system. The best thing about weight paint is if you go back to the weight paint mode and draw something and our particle system is going to update in real time. To draw the weight paint you can use your left mouse button and to erase it either you can hold control or you can reduce the weight value into zero. Now let's disable 204 particle system. Then let's go back to our vertex group. In here, if you click this small icon, you can invert your weight paint. Now I'm just erasing my unwanted weight paint by holding control. Now let's bring back our particle system once again. Now let's invert our vertex group just like we did before. If you invert them properly, you will get an output like this. Well, 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 method number two, geometry nodes. So before talking about geometry nodes, let me prepare my scene. In here, I'm just deleting my particle system. Then head over to geometry nodes and click new. Then click shift A and search for distribute points on faces. Then add another node called instance on points. Now you can see our plane is missing. To bring it back, search for join geometry node and connect them like this. Then connect our group input to join geometry node. Now you can see our plane is back. Now let's drag and drop our grass collection into the geometry node panel. Then connect it into instance. You can see our grass is scattered all over our plane. Then in the collection info node, check separate children and reset children. Later that, in the instance on points node, check pick instance. Now let's adjust the scale from here. To scale them properly, select all our axes X, Y and Z and give a very low value. In here, for the grass, the rotation also is not proper and you can adjust the rotation over here. You can increase the density, of course it will increase your density of your particle system. To get more control over the scale, let's add a random value node and connect it to the scale. In this node, you can give a minimum and a maximum value for our scale. So what this node is doing, it will pick random values in between minimum and maximum values which you have given. Now let's add another random node and set into vector and connect this node to the rotation and it will give a random rotation for our objects. Make sure to play with the values to get even more randomness to your rotation. Now let's add a math node and set into multiply. Then connect it into the density. Later that connect our group input into the value of math node. Now you will be able to control the density from the modifier tab as well as from the math node. Now let's see how to add our weight paint. For that go to our modifier tab and click on this icon. Then click on the empty area and select our scatter. Now you can see now our objects are affecting by the weight paint. I couldn't find an easier way to invert our weight paint by using geometry nodes. So if anybody knows how to do that, just let me know in the comments. So I'm going to do the manual work. For that, I just added a new vertex group and I renamed it. By selecting our vertex group, go to a weight paint and I'm going to draw something just opposite what we drew before. Now let's head back to geometry nodes and go to our modifier tab and remove our previous scatter weight paint and instead of that let's select our new vertex group. So that's how we invert our weight paint. I don't think this is the right way to do that. I'm a little new to this geometry node system and I guess there must be a node which can invert our weight paint, right? If you know that, just comment below. Now let's add our other collection. How do we do that? 
For that, we need to duplicate our geometry node system. To do that, click over here and duplicate it. And this is very important. After duplicating it, go to our geometry node panel. On the top, click on that icon to separate our each geometry system. Delete our existing collection node and drag and drop our new collection. Make sure to check separate children and research children, then connect that into instance. Adjust the scale and density just like we did before. You can choose different weight paint and you can customize by yourself. If you want to randomize your rotation or scale or your density, you can play with the seed value of each nodes. And there you have it. We have covered everything from sourcing assets to mastering the art of object scattering in Blender. I hope you found this tutorial helpful that you are feeling inspired to create some amazing scenes of your own. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and happy blending.